I am like extremely excited for this one. Like really, really, really excited for this one. Hey, how's it going? Today's drawing lesson is gonna be simple and for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner and you've never drawn anything in your life, this is the perfect place to be. This is gonna be step by step and it's gonna be short. I try to keep these around the 10 minute mark. All of these are fun, so let's get started and jump right into it. Hey, how's it going? I'm Enrique. Uh, today we're gonna go over how to draw the Megalodon. So the Megalodon is probably everybody's favorite, you know, prehistoric shark. It was this gigantic, gigantic shark that lived, you know, obviously in prehistoric era. Uh, really, really fun design. I'm super actually excited about this one more than maybe any of the ones we've done in a while. Uh, because it's actually one of my favorite animals that ever existed. Uh, and that is pretty much it. Right before that though, check out the description. There's a lot of cool links in the description. Uh, basically that stuff is there to help you out and help you become a better artist in general. There's playlists, there's a free ebook on you know how to draw something cute, uh, and there's more stuff. There's an other full courses on there that I have on other channels. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much. Hit the like button if you like me on camera here. That's a big thing, I'm testing that out. I'm testing out introducing these videos. Uh, but that is it. So let's jump into the video right off the bat. Let's do it. Alrighty. So let's get into the Megalodon drawing or Megalodon, right? Uh, I'm going to be using this Crayola brand marker. Uh, and to color it, I'm going to be using colored pencils, but I'll bring that in when that starts, okay? So let's jump into it. First thing we're doing is start. I'm going to make sure it fits on the page. That's going to be one of the hardest things, uh, especially for something, you know, like an animal so big, but, uh, you know, to fit on the page. So. I'm gonna start with the front and just kind of remember that the back end is over here somewhere. But so I'm gonna pull a kind of pointed front area of uh, the Megalodon. So we got that front nose. I'm gonna go over here, kind of along its back. And I'm gonna get that shark fin in there, that famous epic shark fin. It's cool because these things look so neat. Uh, I mean, pretty much they're very, very similar to the Great White, just like much, much bigger in scale. All right, and we are going to keep drawing a line down along its back after that. I put that there. I like drawing these little triangles in the, in the, in the fin. Uh, because uh, I think it makes it look like more battle damaged and it makes it look, uh, you know, kind of lived, like he's lived in the world there. Little tiny fin here, keep going. And then we're gonna have the back fin here. As you notice, you can see a lot of triangles. That's kind of like the, almost the, how do you say, the shape of the entire design. It's really the triangles. So I'm gonna keep going over here. I'm gonna pull out the lower fin, pull it up. And right here is really tight, right around where you get to the, uh, where the tails kind of touch in the back here. Really tight. Curve down. Down here, up. Keep going. Like another bottom fin here. And we're gonna have the side fin, the side, uh, uses to swim direction wise okay so the reason I actually did that in that order is because I wanted to be able to make sure he stays on the page um, that was huge but instead of drawing this face that might be too big so now I'm gonna draw the face pulling up here for that open mouth down And I'm going to draw the teeth, and it's just gonna be zigzag shapes. Again, these little triangles. Right? Pulling in. Little triangles over here for the bottom row. Curving in here. Right on. And then the back side of the mouth over here, which could also be triangles, but it doesn't have to be. I'm gonna fill this in right here 
with the marker because I wanted to... A lot of the dark crevices and stuff like that, I think, are, are perfect for filling in with the marker. So anything like in the mouth and stuff like that, that, that stuff really should be filled in with marker to give it more oomph, give the drawing more, more pizzazz. Line over here for the nostril. And the eye can be, I'm gonna make an angry eye. Pull down here and then pull up. line over here for the eye and I'm gonna kind of fill in most of the eye but leave a little bit exposed and let's do the the, the, the gills here it's just gonna be three also kind of triangular in shape right just kind of th uh, three along the line there so this is pretty much the uh, the actual line art so now guess what time it is it's the color zone time. Okay, so let's go over the color. I'm gonna be using this Acryla brand, um, Acryla brand colored pencil. And probably for the first time, I'm gonna be using a marker. Acryla brand marker, excuse me. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, I went skating yesterday and I'm very exhausted. But, so I'm gonna be using this marker and I'm gonna tell you why it's gonna be, you don't need to use it, but absolutely what you do need to use is the Crayola pencil. Um, but we're only gonna need one. So pick any sort of blue that you have. You can also pick a green, but something aquatic. But you can also pick a red if you like. You can pick whatever you want, really. But we're, all, we're gonna be coloring the top half of him. So the bottom half, there's, right, there's that thing called, uh, there's counter shading, so if you look, the you know the belly of the shark is white, and then the top part of it is more of a darker blue or gray or you know whatever green. And the reason it's for this for survival, they when they survive, you know if you look up, right? If you're a little fish and you look up at the sky, uh, you know, and at the sky, you look up at the water, you see some of the sunlight in coming in from the water, right? So the the if you look up. It looks kind of bright because the sun is kind of peeking through the water. It looks bright, so you're not, this is gonna blend in when you when you're a little fish and you look up. The, the white of the belly is gonna blend into the light when you look up, and then when you look down, it'll be darker down on the bottom of the ocean. And this darker pattern on the back will have them also blend in. Uh, hopefully, I, I didn't I explain that okay. But so let's jump into the actual line right here. So I'm gonna pick the blue and I'm. I'm gonna draw a line pretty much halfway across. Usually I include that top fin right here. Going up here. Like so, and I include this entire back fin here. Right, so I drew this line. Everything up here, I'm gonna color in. Um, so that's pretty much what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna color it in flat so like right now what we're doing is we're coloring on our own coloring book right that's what we're doing we're literally coloring our own coloring book right now Whew. but I, I'm more or less kind of just doing it flat nothing fancy Right? I'm using uh, Crayola brand here. I can put a link in the description. Uh, but oh, you can also just buy them at your nearby store. So it's really uh, up to you. See, there's, I'm not thinking about the direction I'm going in or anything like that. I'm just kind of coloring it flat. And it's relaxing. It really is relaxing. It's incredibly relaxing to do this. Uh, I'm gonna go over here on this side. Forgive me, my hand might block the drawing. But just kind of going in flat here is fun, right? Press that like button if you do like me coloring the drawings on camera. I plan on doing that a lot more. I know a lot of people don't really like doing that. They, they usually like speeding it up, but um, I had a lot of requests to just do it live and chill out. Do it together. 
I will go a little quick here because this is a demonstration, but feel free to pause uh, if you're, you know, not catch it up to the, the coloring part. I've drawn sharks before. I've never actually drawn a megalodon, though, or a megalodon. So I heard you can pronounce it either way. That's what I heard: a megalodon or a megalodon. I, I really, I heard that you, you're, it's that both are correct. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but I always said megalodon. I thought that was cooler, but it sounds more like a superhero thing. I heard if you find, this is a prehistoric, uh, you know, um, fish. I heard if you find, uh, like you dig up bones or anything like that of a dinosaur or something like that, that you get to name it. That's pretty cool. I remember they have a dinosaur called the Irritator, like they're irritating. <laughs> they said because it was so stuck in the ground that it was so irritating to get out, like the fossil or something. I thought that was pretty funny. Again, just kind of going with the flow here, chilling out. This stuff is so, so, so relaxing. It's not even funny. It's uh, it's probably one of the funnest times I have uh, working here. Just kind of doing this and chilling back. But uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna try to do more dinosaurs as well. So give me some recommendations in the comments if you, you have any for dinosaurs that I have not done. There's a dinosaur playlist, I think it's in the description there, that uh, you can check out. Going over here, I might have to sharpen this actually, hold on. Where's my sharpener? Oh, there it is. Uh, I have to get this out. So I'm just using a regular hand one. So when you put these in the electric sharpener, um, I found out they break them pretty quickly, so be, be aware of that. I could not use the electric sharpener with some of these. Maybe some people have a better one, or maybe it's just that my sharpener was a little backed up or something. But but generally though, they will snap. They will snap these things. So I just use the hand one to guarantee that I won't uh, won't break them. Even worse, I heard for the Prismacolor that if you use an electric sharpener on them, it's possible it'll break it along the inside of the pencil. So you'll just be using it and like boom, it'll just fall off. And like, what? I've heard that before. I heard a lot of things. I think I know you do that with charcoal. If anybody's ever used charcoal before, that is very, 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 very uh, brittle, and, and that thing will completely fall apart, especially an electric sharpener. That thing is like, ugh, that's not a good idea. All right, we're doing pretty good here, and you can just kind of keep going over it to kind of get it darker and darker. So it's kind of up to you. Right here, how dark you want to make it. Of course, it was also based on the original color that you picked. If you picked an incredibly dark blue colored pencil, it's gonna be a lot darker looking on the page, I think, than this. I picked a very light blue. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do with a marker here, and you don't have, you do not have to do this, but if you want to add some extra flair to it, you can maybe draw some spots here. I'm doing. I'm gonna put these little almost octagon shapes here. Not really octagon, like hexagon. I gotta put right here like it's going around the corner. Right? Like it's rolling around the corner here. Because we don't know what this what like what color the skin was for the most part. You can always add your own. I wanted to make them look a little more prehistoric. So we could add You know, these these things, for example, then maybe fill them in. You, know, you can fill them in here. To make it to kind of add to it, it kind of gives another dimension. You don't have to do this part, by the way. Like, I just put random shapes right there. You can draw stripes, <clears throat> you can draw, you know, like uh, th these stripes and spots are usually like they're just little polka dots. You can do that as well. Show me what you end up doing, by the way. I'm on, uh, I'm on Instagram, I post every day on Instagram now. 
on the Easy Pictures Instagram. Go check that out. But yeah, right here I just chose to do these little hexagon thingies and kind of put them in. Make sure you put them going around the corner like that. See how you can only see half on some of them at the top? You know, because you want to imagine they're, they're also on the other side. But it, like I said, it's for that extra dimension. You do not have to do this part at all. This is something that I, I uh, recommend. Let's put, like, maybe it gets smaller. So there you go. You have a prehistoric shark. Uh, you have the Megalodon. Uh, again, I'm not sure if it's totally considered a shark, right? But, um, that is it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to share the video and I will talk to you very soon. Okay, that's it. Uh, like I said, uh, if anybody knows me, uh, you guys should know that I am addicted to prehistoric animal models. Like, uh, you know, anything with dinosaurs. Uh, anything with prehistoric creatures uh, of that era, I collect them. They're all over my desk, and I'm not gonna show them because it's just a big old, big old mess. But I can keep uh, pulling out figures at random here. Uh, I am just obsessed with dinosaur figures. So if you ever, <laughs> if you ever have any dinosaur figures you don't want, and you want to mail to me, let me know in the comments so we could talk. Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, that is my big addiction, honestly. Uh, anyways, that was something about me that, you know, you didn't really need to know, but there you go. Uh, otherwise, uh, again, share the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, the, the Instagram. If you made a drawing here and you're really proud of it, post it on Instagram and, you know, uh, basically tag Easy Pictures to Draw over there. And I'm definitely going to see it and I'll probably share it and, you know, talk about it as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time, okay? See you later. Don't forget to hit that like. That like is really important. But thank you for watching till the end. Thank you.